<laughs> All right. So <clears throat> I was just on my way to go to Guitar Center and uh, getting ready to lock the door. And I hear the shuffling behind me. I'm like, what in the hell is going on? It was the mail guy. So <clears throat> that being said, he looked agitated. He's like, here, 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 here. Like, all right, all right. So I'm guessing this is Mr. I sent nine, but I'll send a tenth. Um, that's what should be in here. So uh, the fact that it's in its own little box doesn't give me any hope that there's anything decent in it. But uh, I figured, well, <clears throat> I can postpone my uh, trip to Guitar Center. <laughs> oh, look at you trying to make up for shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's just one in there, isn't there? Just one. And what's funny, <clears throat> I wanted to see because... These are just extra mailers. So I was curious. I went, I wonder what this thinner one is. So I grabbed it. It's a slab. So let's throw some bets as far as what the hell you think it might be. Throw some ideas in the comments and uh, we'll see. But I can tell it's a, it's a slab because it has that same. So there's a little indentation right here. See if I, yeah, I can kind of see it right back here. So I felt that indentation. Um, come on, you silly bastard. And you can even see where my thumb is. There's an indentation. So this also gives me some type of insight that <clears throat> if you didn't randomly put this in with these then you're definitely a scam um i, I i'm fully prepared to be pissed off to high hell for what's in this damn thing so let's uh Let's crack this silly bastard open and see what happens. And again, this is this is where I'm going, bruh. If you would do this and be like, hey, if you double bag it, it might actually be something that is worth trying to keep in good condition. And so you can have your little shit ones and then occasionally have these as being decent ones. And it sort of balances itself out. <clears throat> But as we already know from the last one, there is no rhyme or reason as far as why some are double bagged and some aren't. So let's let's get a uh, cyber force. Okay, don't really care. Uh, even if it is cyber force twenty three. checkmate greg rucka did a run of this um i have a couple autographed copies of that if you ever get a chance to read his punisher run drawn by uh marco Cicchetto, that mm, the story that i heard about that really pisses me off because apparently marvel came to greg rucka and said hey we've put punisher in too many teams he's too much of a team guy he was always supposed to be on his, on his own by himself. We want you to do a Punisher run and get him back by himself. And the run was amazing. And um, he was he's flowing into it, and apparently it's getting really hot. And, and everyone's going, oh, okay, let's capitalize this by putting Punisher back in teams again. Uh, Greg, we want you to go ahead and write that. He goes, dude, you told me to make him by himself. No, I'm not going to go and put him back in a team again. And they went, well... Finish up your run then, cuz you're done. And then they put Punisher in with Thunderbolts, and Thunderbolts went, hey! And they have pretty much scrubbed that entire run from their history. 
So, like when Marco Cicchetto did um, the Daredevil run with Chip Zdarsky, <clears throat> they only make mention of his more recent runs, not that uh, Marco Cicchetto did a Punisher run back in the early 2000s. So they don't even make mention of it when they're talking about Marco Cicchetto, let alone Greg Rucka is not going to go back for working for Marvel again. So, And if they had left it alone, I would think if they would have given him about another year or two, we would full on have a female Punisher character because we had a very small piece of it. And that chick was awesome. But it is what it is. All right. Sorry. West Coast Avengers 26. Only person in there I really care about would be little Mr. Moon Knight, Don Cow. <clears throat> Marvel team up. Spider-Man and Doctor Strange. All right. I'm all right with that one. That That's one that uh, I, I will actually care about. Let's, let's put you in a different pile over here with the with the rest of the goodens, even though there ain't nothing over there yet. <laughs> but y'all don't know that. Um, Marvel Super Heroes 104. Hulk versus Hulk. Okay, I'm all right with that one. See, now if this is more what half of those that I had gotten were, I'd be ecstatic because so far we're, what, five books in? And there's a couple I'm like, meh. And there's a couple. All right, yeah. This one, I'm not. I'm not too upset about. Apparently, it's uh, Superboy knocking the head off of hippie guy person thing. Not really a Superboy fan, but it is what it is. I always did like this cover of uh, X Men two ninety. I had this one and then sold all my X Men runs. Not really into X Men, nor do I, am I looking to get back into them, but I can still appreciate it. Mantra three, that weird Ultraverse stuff. I don't, toe tags, featuring George A. Romero. And that that's something I'd be interested in if it wasn't you know number five, but it is what it is. Incredible Hulk three twelve. This is what I'm talking about. Why did I get all the... So, did I literally buy all the trash ones that you sell in the beginning? And they go, no, not people are... At, no. Like you save some of those for the middle, man. <laughs> now I'm pissed that I didn't get half of these and some of the other ones because I probably wouldn't have thrown them away. I still would have. Stuart Morris Para, number five. Whatever the hell that's about. Very difficult to kind of read what the hell's going on with it up here. <clears throat> Morbius number five. Introducing the Basilisk. Not really anything in my forte, especially with the movie with Jared Leto that just looked horrible. X Force 29. I'm all right with it. Doctor Strange versus Mordred. You know, again, I'm all right with it. I'm all right with some Doctor Strange. What the hell is this? Art Arturo Bastard? That's just very odd looking. I just noticed that these are sunglasses and... That's that's a nose. It just looked like a bunch of weird shit to me. <clears throat> the new Titan sixty six. Don't know nothing about that one. More All Star Squadron. Nope. <laughs> we should know this symbol by now. <laughs> More Fantastic Four. Apparently, the guy was probably a big Fantastic Four fan because I swear every single box I've opened has had something like that in there. Um, it was a three fifty four. I'm right with that Robin. I don't really care. Three of five. Kind of a decent cover though. I think it's funny he's there with a uh, a sling, and then don't care. 
telling you, I just I do not care. And I do not care about Valiant books. Um, I have Bloodshot one half, which I think is the, the first time there was ever a half issue. All right, hold on. Apparently this one was... Oh, come on. Stop being a pain in the ass. Tear it down the side. There we go. How are you still stuck? Fine, we'll just unsheath the whole damn thing. And what do we got? Uncanny X-Men number 300, 8.5. It's one that I've had before. I don't think I had anything that higher grade, nor would I have really cared to to slab it. Because it's not that fantastic, but that's just my opinion. And uh, if you look at Bishop, there's that telltale sign of uh, John Romita Jr. Um, still kind of decent cover. Nice little lenticulars. Um Yeah, that makes up for some of it. Um, not enough, though. Just, it's not enough. That's, it should not have taken an email and then letting you know that you gave me eight buckets of bullshit because this is the first time out of all nine of them that I feel like I probably got about $50 worth of shit. Um, the other ones, absolutely not. I looked up the Iron Man ones that I got from last time, which should be right here. I looked all these up and if they were in better shape, the best one is 20 bucks. No one wants any of those Malibu books. Um, the Valiant characters are not popular enough to sit there and command any type of price and even then it's very very specific number ones no one else wants the rest of them they just they don't so what do you do you just go well i don't want them anymore they don't sell so i'll, I'll throw them in a in a grab bag which i agree but you bought how many of them or did you have a shop and that shop never sold them, so now you're just kind of tossing them out, you know. If I and I and I don't, I don't usually hold on to to. Uh, um, I'm just opening up all the ones, and I'll show you what I got. Um, but I don't usually go for duplicates. Um, I have accidentally bought some, so I was like, "Ooh, I got!" Oh shit, I already had one. Damn it. And for whatever reason, it didn't mark it or it didn't get updated or whatever. Um, so this is the Jim Lee Superman 204 cover. I thought I got one earlier, but apparently I did not mark it in my inventory. Which I know I have a couple of these. So this is kind of how they're supposed to be displayed. Where you have the Batman one and the Superman one, and they're both in roughly the same pose, and the capes in the same area and whatnot. Um, this one tends to command a little bit more price than this one, uh, because this was a variating cover of six oh eight, and so um, the variating cover is quite expensive, like a couple hundred bucks. Um, but I always thought it'd be kind of cool to to kind of have like for instance up here have superman over here and batman over here just have them look at each other with other shit in between i just thought that'd be kind of cool looking uh so i didn't have that one marked in my inventory it was only like i think it was like six bucks with shipping so i'm like six bucks with shipping to kind of have that because i think it'd be a cool display idea um i'm fine with that so if i already have one whatever um I probably won't worry about getting slabbed ones of those type of those uh, books. Uh, hello? Did you do what I think you did? So usually, 
the way that they kind of do it now is you'll get a piece of cardboard and another piece of cardboard and it's taped on all four sides to prevent it from sliding out. So just hit that tape and stop. But usually you just kind of cut it and get in the middle and pull it out. But that leads me to believe I think I know what this one is. Because again, if I don't have it marked in my inventory, um, I want to make sure that if it's a run that I'm going for, I do get it and then I inventory it, which is essentially what I was doing most of today. Um, and yeah, it's, it's what I thought. Well, no, it isn't. Uh, I thought it was this the latest Hulk world, world Breaker um, run that's going on. But what it is is some of the first appearances of Cyborg Superman. You have the cameo and then the first full appearance. It's supposed to be another one. Um, I'll work on getting that one too because uh, I always thought Cyborg Superman was awesome. Um, I've been trying to find a decent statue, and it's that's not out there. And even if you search for it, you'll get Cyborg the character and you get superman the character and trying to find cyborg superman is difficult so see like with the gemini ones i get a reflection in there there's some tape so you got tape so it doesn't go sliding out now you just cheat cut that tape and just pull that bad boy out this is what i thought was in there hulk world breaker number two um, apparently I forgot that one last month, so wanted to make sure that, uh, I got a hold of one of those. Um, I didn't bust my butt for four and a half years, five years now, um, trying to get the, uh, everything from Hulk 238 to current whether it's Hulk or Incredible Hulk runs. Um, I didn't bust my butt to get those to have one that just got released last month that uh, I missed out on because they didn't have it at the shop. And occasionally I will get emails from Midtown Comics in, based out of New York. One of these days I'm going to go there and check them out. Um... But uh, I'll get emails from them, and it's like 60% off. And I'll go, all right, well, what do you have that I don't? That's kind of buzz through. Um, they'll have a lot of stuff for, like, the incentive covers to where it's normally $125, and now it's thirty-eight fifty. No, because I realized that the characters I do like, uh, most people don't, and there's a few that do, and those are the ones that are harder to come by. Which is why my Spider-Man run is not done. Um, but speaking of Spider-Man, I just thought it was a cool cover. Got it for like two bucks. Uh, the facsimile edition of Fantastic Four 52, first appearance of Black Panther. Because I'm probably not going to be able to afford the real one. Um, some of Jason Aaron's current Avengers run. Apparently through all of the different sales that Midtown Comics has on this. I'm actually pretty close to the entire run of it. Um, so I was like, well, they have some pop up and, uh, it's issues that I need. Cause I usually have one monitor that has all of the, uh, um, inventory on it and another one that has the sale on it. And I just go back and forth between the two of, okay, what do you have? Okay. That one. Nope. Got that one. All right. Keep going. And so I'm getting closer to actually getting that run done just from all of the, uh, little, simple um just 60 percent off 70 percent off sales um and it always starts with the most recent one that's been released and it goes through you can find stuff way in the back on the last pages but i'll never go that far down um sometimes they're utter savages and why you put it in there upside down i don't know sometimes it's upside down and backwards but they do have the uh the little strip where you can reseal it 
Um, I used to, long time ago, have them where I would have them, uh, and again, goddamn savages, quit putting them in there upside down and backwards. See what I tell you. Um, I swear to God. I'm going to go out there and beat the shit out of whoever sets these things up. I just put them in the hand and which way they'll go. Um, but yeah, I've even been kind of building a Wonder Woman run. Um, the DC Rebirth after uh, DC uh, New 52 had Greg Rucka writing um, Wonder Woman. So I'm going, okay. Kind of want to, you know, once again, Greg Rucka did great stuff with Punisher. Let, let's see what he could do with some other characters. And I've enjoyed it, but you hit a wall and I don't want to go pay five bucks for a character. I'm just going, I just kind of want to read the story. Um, I'm not really there for the, look at all these fun women. I got people are going to be so excited to see them and try and sell them. It's not going to work. So it's like, well, you know, we'll just, we'll do what we do. Um, but yeah, that's, uh the latest comic haul um yeah still think i'm gonna give that guy uh not a negative review because he's made up for it a little bit um but i would definitely leave a neutral one and just go hey um just to let you know uh you it's a complete shit show he is not honest about fifty dollars per per box um it's literally your own risk yeah you're only paying 28 bucks for each box but i bought nine of them only one of them was worth it the other eight were just seemed like utter trash uh with maybe five issues out of 150 that were worth more than five bucks and the condition was terrible so they could have been worth 20 12 or 12 to 20 dollars and instead they're worth about five to seven um, so he's an absolute liar when it comes to what the, what the packages are worth. Um, so buy at your own risk. It's not a negative review because there was an error. He did make up for it and that box was worth it. But one out of nine is absolutely unforgivable. Do not advertise that you're going to have this shit for $50 per box. I get nine goddamn boxes, had to wait for the ninth one. And that was the only one worth half a shit. No. Go fuck yourself, dude. Have a great day.